Hello everyone, here's Aaron the Black Dragon. Welcome back to another loop in Loop Heroes. Last time we died as the Necromancer, which technically means we survived. Anyway, we're going back in and... Um, did I say that I wanted to get rid of anything? I don't think that I wanted to get rid of anything, so we're just gonna stick with what we have right there. I'm gonna go in as the necromancer yet again. Let's go. All of the things that we have, we cannot use. Will we just start walking? Again, we wanna have summoning quality and also a summoning level to make our things better. Skeleton level, that's it. Starting off with an oblivion card. Strong start. And this time, let's try to not make dumb combinations. Weaker and skeleton level goes up with that as well. I'm gonna take it because why not? Gonna wait for them. Well, actually, I wanna have something in here. I know that already, so let's have the metal there. There we go. I can have the spider cocoon right here. That way that gets up and have the growth right there. Also, give me my loot. Come on. Okay, battlefield. Gonna have that... Yeah, I have that right there. Let's go. There's a lot going on on this map already. Wow. Like, honestly, we... Uh, the, the, wow. Let's have that in there. Some more rocks. Look at all of the monsters on the map already. Why? I don't... I don't... I don't get it. Ooh, there we go. Magical shield, finally. Was hoping to get it for a while now. Because now we finally don't take direct damage anymore. Ske skeleton levels just go down. Ah, need better stuff. Also, give me summoning quality. What do we have there? More magical shield. Always. Cemetery. Sure, let's make that a cemetery right there. Freaking hate the spider. The spiders are a pain. What do we have there? Summoning quality. Freaking yes. Let's go for that. So important, let's not have the vampire mansion where the uh, freaking spider is. Let's have you here. And, sorry, and then I can do that. There we go. Starting off with some good stuff there. Also, I got you. You were weaker. There's some good stuff. Skeleton level goes down, but I get regen per second, evasion, and summon quality. I'm gonna take it just for the summon quality in there. Uh, evasion with that ring. And uh, no, we're gonna keep the stuff that we have right now. Oh, come on. A little bit of attack speed would be nice, I wanna say. Uh, it goes down as well, no. I feel okay with this run so far. Uh, what is the skeleton level? One point. Okay, I need maybe a little bit more. Gonna keep that on the hand for the moment because I don't know where I would place that without maybe making everything worse for us. Oh, there we go. Finally having some better stuff. Ooh, magic shield and evasion. Yes, that's also a lot of magic shield that we get from that. So good, good to have that. Ah, oh, come on. Why? Oh, come on. Why are you attacking me? Attack my skeletons. Okay. More skeleton level. The rest of the stuff is too good to just pass up, so... Yes, we're gonna do that. That's a lot more skeleton level and summoning quality. <clears throat> the rest of the stuff is not so important to me, but that's really good. Uh, regen per second, some quality goes down and I get skeleton level that's equal to what I have already. Well, actually, if it's just equal to the summoning uh, skeleton level that I have already, then I should just switch that one out and I get stronger skeletons for that just without losing anything from that. So that's that's better. What are you? My shield goes down by a lot. Defense goes up though and summon quality also goes up. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Or just attack speed. No, we're gonna stick with the... Well, attack speed will let me pump out skeletons faster. Less shield. Well, it's only about one person. One and one. Yeah, 
let's do that. Uh, I have a lot of stuff, but I don't get a village. So that's that's a little bit dumb. I would love to have a bit more summoning quality. So that I can summon better stuff. Because yeah, they're good, but I want to have better stuff. Uh, no, not from a quality. I'm gonna have you here. That there, another mate though. Could do that. Sure, let's do that there. So we have that. If things are bad, we have an oblivion card right now, so we technically we are fine. There we go. Ah, oh, there's some good stuff. Worse and worse. None of them are good for us. Come on. And skeleton level goes up. Defense and pure. No, not pure damage. Regen per second. That's a lot of level, but the summon quality would tank too much, so I'm not gonna do that. Gonna keep the spiders on the hand, because I, I need to boost myself first a little bit. Uh, I don't have anything where I could place that. Uh, sure, let's just do that. Let's just start putting some stuff up there, it's not ideal. But, I mean, whatever. Let's go. Let's just do that. And try to be happy with what we're doing. Ooh. Regen per second stays the same in skeleton level. But I lose my summoning quality. Nope, in that case, I don't take it. Again, summoning quality is really freaking important to me. So what did we get? Nope, nope. Uh, big drop and everything and nope. What did we get here? Each loop three higher quality skeletons join the hero's side. They persist between battles. That's a good thing. Uh, get plus 0.5 max magic shield for every summoned skeleton for the rest of the expedition. We're gonna go for the higher quality skeletons that join our side at the beginning of every loop because that's just gonna make our life a little bit easier. So there we go, we're gonna place it right here, not in front of the vampire, because I want one just in the middle right now to regenerate. Okay, let's see what good skeletons we will get as our assistants there. Ah, that is good, I love having the guard out there to help us. I wish I would get a max slot to, the skeleton, uh, to my skeletons there. Really good. Summon quality goes up by a lot and I get a little bit of defense, so yes! And there we go. Now, I think... I want to have a growth right here. Because then I can have another uh, blood growth in here. And that will then help me out with the entrance there, so... Yeah, we're good. Still gonna keep the spiders on the hand. I don't want to risk something stupid with them just yet. Another mountain, always good. Ah, oh, look at my posse. Oh, that's actually a good posse to have right there off the get-go. And that actually means that I get to attack right off the get-go as well, and I can just boost myself a little bit. Honestly, that's really good. Lowers my summoning quality, don't care. Let's have a big flipping mountain there for us. And just plant some meadows around that. Ooh, please. Just a lot of skeleton level. Or defense and evasion, or just more evasion. The level would be really freaking good, but my quality... I feel like at what point I have to just decide on whether or not I want to have everything. It would just... Either stay the same or be better, but I lose the skeleton level. And the regen per <sighs> But I need level as well, that's the thing. A lot more magic shield. <sighs> it's such a steep drop.
That is actually way more than that, I just realized. No, that's actually the same. Just get more evasion with that. Should I do that? Uh, uh, I'm gonna hold on to that for a little while longer while I'm debating around and actively be a horrible person for not deciding immediately if I wanna have more skeleton level or not. I'll just reach and percent. There's so much good stuff right now. Ah. Okay, we're gonna take that one away because we don't want them. Lost my big defender, so now we are actively in danger as well. Skeleton level reach and percent. And now I'm summoning again. That's why I wanna have. A good quality as well because my stuff that I summon is not as as good otherwise. <sighs> I need some better quality and special. I need stronger skeletons as well. Okay, what do we have there? No. Defense, attack speed, no. Another Oblivion card, always good to have these. It works out so far. But I'm not I'm not the happiest as of right now as well. Taking way too much damage. Skeleton level goes up, max skeleton plus one. I'm gonna do that. I may lose my regen per second, but honestly that is worth it right now, having the extra slot for a skeleton. That's just that's just so much better. Uh, let's plant another grove right there. Uh, you come here. There's a whole bunch of spiders, don't really care about that. What is you? Just skeleton level. It's a lot. But the drop in quality... It cannot take that big of a drop in quality. He ran away! And there we go, my pause is now completely gone. My quality... Max skeleton plus one. My level would go down. Or do that and have just a 2% drop, yeah. Let's do that and just have a 2% drop in my summon quality. Summon quality goes up, regen, attack. Yeah, no, I'm gonna stick with what we have right now. Summon a guardian. Just skeleton level. I feel like all I'm getting is skeleton level. I'm gonna go for that. My summon quality right now is tanking a lot. I'm gonna place that one right here. And um, that bandit camp right there is not a problem to us, so I'm not gonna deal with that immediately. Max shield and skeleton level. I wanna have to reach in right now. I'm gonna switch it out. Uh, once we are through that loop. Because then I feel a little bit better. Come on, stop missing. There we go, mountains. Okay, let's make this even more difficult for us. Next meadow. There we go. We have some good stuff. Uh... Okay, honestly, perfect timing there. Um, skeleton level goes up by so much, but my quality would tank. <sighs> Attack speed and skeleton level, just skeleton level. Let's go for that. I, if I cannot get... 
That is so much. And I can have yet another skeleton out there. I'm just... Uh, just for the... Just for the skeleton level, because I need some attack strength behind them. I cannot just walk around and hoping for summoning quality right now. That's... Ultimately, that's gonna get me killed if I'm not... If I'm not finally starting to get some stuff, I don't get anything really that boosts my level and my quality at the same time. So that's really, really bad actually. Um, gotta place another cemetery right there, why not? We have so many spiders I don't want to deal with. I can't get yet another skeleton in there. Yeah, no, let's do that. I love the amount of skeletons that we have going for us right now. And that's one thing I do not care about. Okay, what did we get? Uh, defense attack and just magic shield, no. We will get a new choice of three traits, 20% chance to summon two skeletons at once when reaching the maximum number of skeletons. Uh, point two five to plus point twenty five. To skeleton level for a loop starting from the loop when this trait was received. That would have been so freaking strong early on. But my skeletons right now are stronger than what we're facing. And that would potentially just make them stronger. I have a 20% chance to summon two skeletons. Let's make them stronger with every loop from now on. Because that's, that's gonna help us a lot. Magic shield stays the same. I lose I lose out on other good stuff, so no. This is honestly insane right now and I'm happy about that. I uh, have another battlefield. Here, why not? Uh, I have another oblivion card, which is good for that up there. Bit more summoning quality, please, game. Uh, shield, evasion, and max skeleton. Cool. Summon quality stays the same. I get evasion, regen per second, and defense. Nah, not gonna take that one. Um, if I do that, I get a little bit more coverage with that. If I do that, I get here more coverage, which I do not need. So let's do that there. And more of these. Ooh, that was nice. Let's hope that we get some good stuff here momentarily. Because my guardian cannot live a lot longer. And I would love to have another guardian potentially. Another meadow. Another grove. Let's place one right here, because then I can have another blood growth in there, potentially. Uh, let's have you here. Another blood growth right where I wanted it. Ooh, flash golem. And I lost two of my posse with that instantaneously. Scary. But we got some good stuff out of that. Skeleton level. Uh, nope. Summon quality. That's the best. Evasion, summon quality and a lot of skeleton level. Yes. Uh, my summon quality is still bad, I wanna say. But I can potentially have some really good uh, things going on for us right now. What do we have? Um... My skeleton level would drop, but right now I also have, but also my shield which I need right now. Okay, we're gonna keep that on the back burner, maybe we're gonna use that momentarily. It's just a normal three, that's a two, that's not good. Oh, wow. Uh, evasion attack speed. Just a message. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good, we're doing good. Thank you. Let's just do that. I have another Oblivion card in my hand and the Vampire Mansion that we could place, but I'm not gonna do that. 
Let's see, let's see. Okay. <clears throat> we get a posse again of skeletons for this run. So, we're gonna get skeletons again. Should I place them down now? I mean, they would really diminish me by the point I get down there, so maybe not. Also, my skeletons just grow stronger thanks to the ability that we got. Got an antique shelf, nice. Regen per second and summoning quali quality. My skeletons are strong right now, I don't want to dump that just for anything. Yeah, no, we're gonna stick with uh, the things that we have at the moment. There's so much nice bloop that just went down there. It just disappeared, that's fine with me. Skeleton level takes a big dip there. Quality only by one, nah, we're gonna stick with what we have. 1% on the quality is not... It's not worth losing so much. Come on. Come on, take him out. There we go. That's why I did not want to place down another vampire mansion because there's a lot. Uh, another battlefield. Sure, let's place that here. Meadows everywhere. Let's move on. Vampire disappears again. Definitely like that. Magic shield goes up, summon quality, and my skeleton level just takes a hit. Um, but I get a bit more quality, so yes, I'm gonna take that hit. We're still good. We're still okay, despite everything. Because we attack a lot. Got another guardian out there. Let's place that growth right there, why not? Good, get rid of that thing immediately. So what did we get? No, magic shield goes up by a lot. I get a skeleton level, losing my quality, don't care about that. Because we are hunting for quality right now. Still a big hit, even a bigger hit than before. And no, that's not worth it. I have so many spiders in my hands. That's a weird sentence. Summon quality goes up. I get evasion and defense. Lose skeleton level. Nah. My summon quality right now is actually okay. I love that I get so many oblivion cards right now. Because that's only gonna be good for us. We can prevent dying and just clock out as much damage as possible. It's just gonna be helpful for us. Uh, but we're not even halfway to where we need to be with uh, the level. We're gonna start to lose some stuff here momentarily because I could honestly don't want to place down all of these spiders because if I do that we're just gonna say good now we're dying. That's not good because spiders at this point are annoying. A lot? Uh, well, not so much a lot. Well, whatever. Let's just move on. Also, don't want to have too many vampires out there. But that's also just a death sentence. That's a lot of magic shield, though. Good amount of skeleton level. That was a nice jingle. Uh, skeleton level stays the same for my magic shield, but my quality dips. Nah. Um... Let's go for that. Maybe maybe there's something good that comes out of me keeping cards. Maybe my Oblivion card will stay that way. And if I can keep my Oblivion card, that's gonna be good. And again, we're losing some stuff. That's so much. That's so much. But my... My summoning quality is just suffering from everything that we're getting right now and that's not okay. Uh, magic shield, no, no, no. Nah, I hate this. What do we have? Nothing that's useful for anyone. With that, get a bit more summon quality, evasion, and no. 
This is the problem of the necromancer is just having to juggle summoning quality and skeleton level because the skeleton level is just what makes the loops easier. But the summoning quality gives you something like a guardian that will take away all of the damage that you would receive in a fight, which makes it 100% worth having. And that's why the necromancer is fun to play, but also difficult to pin down what you should focus on. Re that is bad. Wow. That is a really bad ring that we got there for level 5. Uh, uh, that's just magic shield. We have better stuff for that. If I would just get a bit more, if we... Just summon quality. Come on, game. Bleeding. Now we're bleeding. Also, just a single thing with that. Okay, that finally got upgraded. I feel like we can do one more loop. Even though my skeletons are now actively weaker. But I have my posse of three, so I feel like I can do this loop. Skeleton level goes up yet again. But my max skeleton plus ones, I don't wanna give that one up. Shield, regen, defense, skeleton level, summon quality goes. It really doesn't wanna give me a lot of summoning quality with good combo stuff for me. That's what makes this loop so extremely difficult right now. Just regen, summon quality, that's not. No. Got another Oblivion card. That's always good to have. Let's place that there. I could place down some more spiders. I don't see that being a smart idea right now though, because I am weaker technically, so. Bye there. Defense region. <laughs> Come on. I like how you just F off right now. Uh, summon quality, but my level goes down. I cannot give up my level right now. Evasion and summoning quality. Really doesn't want to give me anything good right now. There goes my guardian. Always bad. And I have another guardian. Really good. That guardian will go down momentarily though. There we go. That was... That was good. Let's... Let's see what we get out of all of that. There we go. I have one more for you. Blood Grove. Having that up there would help for that fight. Having it here would help for later. Let's, let's help for that fight because there's a lot going on there. And we got a lot of stuff right now, so... Where did this all start? That is good. Let's just see what else we have though. Okay. Mm -hmm. I lose a max skeleton but get evasion instead of that and maybe not for my quality at this point. More and more skeleton level gets a double boost there as well and they get attack speed that's actually that's actually better let's do that uh, everything stays the same I get evasion and have more magic shield so yes obviously I'm gonna do that I think that's good. Sadly I lost all my skeletons already. Good thing we got the guardian. Some quality would go up but not for my... For my level. Wow, that is actually strong. Quality goes up, level goes down. Or stays the same. No. No. No, 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 no. Okay, next. 
It's a shame that they do not have my posse anymore because they were really good. Summon a guardian for the loving. Got a silver pendant. I think after this loop I'm gonna have to call it. My skeleton level is okay, but not as high as it should be. Maybe we're gonna do next time a loop where we just focus on one thing, like quality or level. Which I think, if anything, we should try a run with focusing down level and see how well we do with that. Also, we're not gonna take that. Which I'm still not sure is a good decision. But, I mean, we would get just overall stronger skeletons. But they wouldn't have any specific abilities associated to them, so I don't know if that's worth it as much. Because the Guardian is so flipping good to have. Uh, level goes down, attack speed goes way up. Uh, regen. You get evasion and that's it. And that's it. No. It's a whole bunch of stuff right here. Come on, summon the guardian. And then just summon stuff that can clock out damage. There we go. Stepping as much as possible going on for us. That's really all I care about right now. And the guardians are just way too good. I hate the red wolves. There we go, there we go, another treasury. Sure, let's let's start it off. If I would have placed it over there, I could have done some more stuff. Well, whatever. There's still a lot of enemies around. Maybe that will work out in this loop. Maybe it won't. Anyway, we have a lot of stuff. There we go. Another. Let's have that here. I have so many fields, I don't get anything to help me with the fields that I get. The flash golem is scary. Okay, that will attack the guardian. And the guardian will actually survive so that I can get another skeleton out. And there we go, finally getting some attacks out. Ooh, and having some of the guardian there at the end was really good. Let's do that, it doesn't help me as much with getting stuff out, but whatever. Uh, let's have that there. We have so much. That is better but 0.3. And I lose the attacks. No, I still have the attack speed. What do I lose? I actually lose a lot more. No. Skeleton level goes down by a lot more. Come on. Guardian, keep them alive. Good stuff. Nope. What are you? Nope. Ooh, yeah, you just F off. Not like I really care about you. Guardian, always good. The Guardians are so good to have. That's really the only reason why I'm so... for uh, summoning quality. Because honestly, just having the Guardian out is... one of the best things, because not having to tank the damage... Just having out a skeleton that will take all of the front. Really strong. Uh, no. But again. Skeleton level is also like stupidly important. So it's such a finite uh, balancing act there on how to have the best setup for you. I hate the spiders so much. They attack so fast. They can destroy a guardian way too fast for you. What do we get? Eh, it's a good bunch of that. Uh, no. It just goes towards attack speed, which I guess, yeah, but also me. Nee. Can I still get the last two things to open up the... Not with that card. Come on. Give me something good there. It's also not... Uh. That's good. Come on. Give me give me another one. Oh, you're 
you're golden. There we go. That was good. I'm not getting a lot more good stuff, but whatever. Let's just let's just do. This is so filled up with stuff. And I have so many cocoons still and vampire mansions. I could make this a living nightmare for me. Um, I have my skeleton posse with me. But my skeleton level is lower right now and there's a lot going on them on the map and I don't think it's a smart idea. Also we have a lot of stuff which I would love to take home so we're just gonna book it, we're gonna retreat. Because that way we can finally do some stuff here again. Because now we can finally get the intel center which I was waiting on for so long. So here's what we know so far. The world consists of darkness and fragments of your memories and it doesn't stay the same for long. Nothing is stable. But that's not completely true. There's some key memories that drastically change everything. As we keep notes of your expeditions, the pieces are starting to form a bigger picture. It would be much easier if everything wasn't so shapeless. Remember, all knowledge is priceless, so please share it with us. And together, we'll decide how to use it best. Now we have the encyclopedia, where everything that we find gets noted down in everything so if there's ever something that we need to look up because we don't recall we can just go in there also there's a forest already a thick forest nobody knows who or what could be lurking inside makes you a bit nervous is there actually no there's no there's not the things from my personal playthrough as well in there because that would be weird but we have a lot of stuff here. We have the Lich, the Priestess, the Angel. And there's a lot still locked. And then we have all of these things. I'm just gonna go through here and mark them off just so that we're good there. Anyway, uh, crafting, we have stuff. And let's see, can we build? We can make the library or the forest now. Uh, let's see. Uh, the forest, you can hear the majestic rustle of leaves from the edge of the camp. This is the lumberjack's domain. Unlock the forest and thicker card, which are really good and I love them. Then the library, an accept, uh, expansion for the intel center. The librarians can decipher information and expand your knowledge of the world. It allows you to unlock additional pages in the encyclopedia in exchange for books of memories. Unlocks the bookery card, unlocks the maze of memories golden card if this intel center is built. We also can have ourselves a watchtower you can. You can forget many things when leaving the camp, but you won't forget the arrows fired from here. One crossbowman will help you from each tower in battles uh, on tasks adjacent to the campfire. Only applies to battles with normal enemies. You will have to deal with the bosses yourself. You can build up to four towers. If you would be interested in that. Uh, but we also can upgrade some stuff. What is that? We could upgrade a mud hut. The canteen. And we also can increase uh, by, uh, by upgrade the healer's hut. Um, if we upgrade that one, we get 1% 1 to potion healing, one, plus 1 potion to carrying with me, plus 1 potion refill at the campfire makes witch hut cards appear during the expedition. So we get something nice out of that if we do that. Or we get uh, plus 6% to campfire ceiling power. power. He can, hero can rest before fighting fighting a boss. And we get some camps and item slots as well with that. Um, I wanna have the witch cards, the witch hut, so let's do that. More vials mean more potions. Every sip increases your chance of coming back in one piece and bring along some more ingredients, of course. It sure does. Can we still build something? We actually can still build a forest, so let's build ourselves at least one forest. Wow, it's a forest. Yep, a forest. Solid wood. It's truly unbelievable. Yeah, I get it. I know what a forest is. Shining example of per perennial evergreen flora. 
Are you making fun for fun of me? That's how long uh, uh that's how a log or plank looks before it dies. So fascinating. Yeah, definitely making fun of me. So we now have made a forest and that also gives us afterwards access to the war camp and the lumberjack. We're gonna cross those rivers once they come. <laughs> so we have a lot and we will do a lot more because we got some good stuff. Also supply. Can I? Yeah. But I can place only one. Shame. But for that I would need another mud hut or upgrade more there. Can I build like another mud hut? No. Cannot really build anything else anymore. So we're good. Yeah, no, that was honestly a good run and next time we're only gonna go for skeleton level. Summoning quality will be not as important next time as the skeleton level. So let's see how well that will go. I mean the skeletons will be strong but they won't be as effective. So maybe actually getting the trade with uh, three higher qualities skeletons following me at the beginning of every loop will be extremely uh, necessary for that. Let's just see how that will go. Hope you enjoyed it and see you then. Bye.